Hello, and welcome to today's lecture on the Song of the Spheres and the Medallion. The time is coming close for us to actually receive these. Here is our prototype. This is the only one in existence, but not for long. We anticipate receiving the first shipment of the songs and the medallions this coming week. They will be received in Hawaii, they will be initialized, then they will be shipped to us here in Denver, and then we will ship them out to you. So depending upon shipping times and how long it takes to get through customs, we hope to be able to start shipping these out to you probably a week from tomorrow, uh, Monday of next week. So we're excited about getting all of these to you. We're excited to hear your experiences with the song and with the medallion. As I did last week, I'm going to be going over instructions this week. We have new questions and answers from Lantos for these tools, and I would like very much to make sure that when you receive the Song of the Spheres and the medallion, you already know how to use them. Let's briefly review what we learned last week. Lanto said, spinning the way generates the initial rotations of creation. Now, in the prototype, let me point out to you that the part inside the circle is what Lantos calls the way. This part rotates. And when you spin it, that, initial, uh, that is called spinning the way. And that is what Lantos said generates the initial rotations of creation. Let's continue. Three spins ignite the prime elemental energies of the process of creation supported by the energies of the great cosmic spheres. The seed which is formed within the way ignites. Now, we have seed number eight, the world mother, already formed within the way of the Song of the Spheres and of the Medallion. That means that regardless of which seed you are enlivening, regardless of what you are creating for, each time you spin that center part called the way, you will be enlivening seed number eight, the World Mother. Now this is important because when you enliven seed eight, you get a benefit because everyone on Earth gets a direct benefit when the world mother seed, seed number eight, is enlivened. So you receive a benefit, but everyone else on Earth and the Earth itself also receives a direct benefit each time you spin the way of the song or of the medallion. Lantos continued, this seed ignites automatically upon the first initiated spin. Ignite refers to the vast energies which are created within the individual and the environment. And these energies release the great cosmic forces of that realm of creation within the individual. Light, knowledge, harmonics, which form creation. As one initiates spin, one offers the phrase of the seed. The phrase is offered within the heart of the initiate. The initiate is one who initiates spin, the process of creation, the initial rotations of creation. The phrase is offered as the spin is initiated. As one releases the hand, one releases the phrase. One lets go and the spin results. The hand releases the spin, the heart releases the phrase. One small action produces spin, one small phrase produces the dynamics of creating. So the phrase is offered as the spin is initiated. Now the phrase for the world mother seed is song of the deep. So that would mean that you would think this inside. You don't speak it out. You just think it within your heart. Focus on your heart, the warmth within the heart, and you would think the seed phrase song of the deep while you spin the way. And you would do that three times. Lantos said some more things in that message we read yesterday. And then he said, release and purify, illumine and create. 
Through the process of initiating three rotations, energy is generated and light is promoted within layers of the individual, from the finest layers to the most physical. This is creating. The individual is released from residues. The environment is released from the remains of action in that location. Residue is remains. Release and purify. Illumine and create. This is the way. Three times we initiate spin. Three times we offer the seed. Thrice spin. Thrice seed. With this introduction, we begin. So, when you spin the way and you ignite the initial rotations of creation, you ignite a lot of things. You ignite purifying elements. And Lanto said that the individual, the one who initiates the spin, is released from residues. That is, residues in your body, residues uh, from previous lifetimes. And then the environment where you are located also is released from the remains of action in that location. Remember, Lantos has told us over the years that negative actions leave a residue not only on the individual who made that action, but also on the earth, on the physical earth where that activity was performed. So when we use the song and the medallion, it will release the individual from the residues of past actions, and it will also release those residues from the earth. So that we learned last week. We spin the way three times. We introduce the seed phrase or the desire three times. Each time as we spin the way, we introduce the seed phrase. This is the process of creating with the song and with the medallion. So then, just in the last few days, Cindy asked Lanta some questions. She said, when we are creating with the song or the medallion, do we still hold the bioamplifier, the biotranslator, the wand, or the biotrinities? If so, should we hold them in the left hand with the song? For example, if we are creating with an object, should we hold the wand and the song in the left hand? And Lanto said, Dear ones, the supreme tool has arrived. We now have the supreme tools of creating. In the most ideal setting, we will perform the seeds. We will perform the art of creating techniques and techniques of ability, holding the beloved song under the great seal, in the presence of the flying seed master tool and our illumined chamber of eternal light. If we are holding the song, we will not require the presence of any additional tools. We may hold or wear the beloved pendant of eternal light and bio-trinity, and we may have present our blessed bio-translator and pyramid of Genesis. All tools are blessings. All tools may be present in the hall of creating. All tools of Genesis enliven the radiant light of Genesis. If we hold the medallion, the wheels must be present in order to achieve all aspects of creating. Like this, the home becomes the great center for creating, issuing the waves of sublime radiance to all creation. When we go out of this great center for creating, we carry with us the supreme tool. We carry the supreme tool and we may perform creating in any setting located anywhere. Every location becomes a blessed location supportive of the supreme process of the dynamics of creation. This is the eon of eternal light. And with this, the doors have opened for the arrival of the supreme tool. The eon of eternal light heralds the awakening of the enlivened dynamics of creation available in all locations through the supreme song and the supreme medallion. In these tools, we ignite the energies required for the process of creating. This is the way. The way opens the initiate to the process 
of creating in all locations at all times. With this, the individual accelerates rapidly through the stages of growth and expansion, and the physical structure transforms to support the radiance, the supreme radiance, as the reflection of the source. We have a few more pages of this message of these questions and answers to go through, but that was such a good message. Let's go through it again, and this time I'll interrupt a few times during it just to highlight the points that Lantos is making. So we started. Dear ones, the supreme tool has arrived. We now have the supreme tools of creating. In the most ideal setting, we will perform the seeds. We will perform the art of creating techniques and techniques of ability, holding the beloved song under the great seal in the presence of the flying seed master tool and our illumined chamber of eternal light. So that means that to create the ideal setting at your home in order to do the creating technique, in order to enliven the seeds of the flying seed, you will need those four elements. You will need the song of the spheres or the medallion. You will need the great seal hanging above you. You will need the flying seed tool and you will need the chamber of eternal light that goes within the flying seed tool. Those things are the elements that you will need to generate that ideal creating space that Lantos is talking about. Now, he also said that if you are using the medallion, you need to have the wheels of Genesis. So you will still need the circle of wheels if you are using the medallion. But if you're using the song, you will not even need the circle of wheels. Lantos continued, we may also hold or wear the beloved pendant of eternal light and bio-trinity, and we may have present our blessed bio-translator and pyramid of Genesis. So that means that he's specifically calling out these tools to be beneficial, but not necessary for our ideal creating space. So it's good to have these, but it's not necessary to have these. The pendant of eternal light, your personal bio-trinity, the bio-trinity of the personal pathway, the bio-translator, and the pyramid of Genesis. And then Lanto said, all tools are blessings. All tools may be present in the hall of creating. All tools of Genesis enliven the radiant light of Genesis. So that is to prevent us from saying, don't use any other tools in this setting. He's making it clear that we can have our entire set of tools with us around the flying seed while we use the song and the medallion to do our creating and enlivenment of the seeds of creation, the 81 seeds. We can use any of our tools. We can have the wand, we can have the bioamplifier, the wings of Genesis, the shields, the heart pendant, anything we want can be in this area. The four tools, again, that are important to create this ideal setting are the master, the supreme tool, the song or the medallion, the great seal, the flying seed, and the chamber of eternal light. And then he again specifically called out the pendant of eternal light and your bio trinity of the personal pathway, as well as the bio translator and the pyramid. Then Lantos explained, if we hold the medallion, the wheels must be present in order to achieve all aspects of creating. So again, we need the wheels if you're going to be using the medallion. Like this, the home becomes the great center for creating, issuing the waves of sublime radiance to all creation. When we go out of this great center for creating, we carry with us the supreme tool. We carry the supreme tool and we may perform creating in any setting located anywhere. So when you have the song you can create in your car in a traffic jam or at a red light. You can cre create at work during a five minute break. You can create anywhere using the song. 
Every location, Lantos continued on, every location becomes a blessed location, supportive of the supreme process of the dynamics of creation. This is the eon of eternal light. And with this, the doors have opened for the arrival of the supreme tool. We've mentioned many times over the past 20 years now that each thing that Lantos has given us, each tool, each technique, has been designed to help us individually, immediately, but also to build the light, the presence of light on earth. And when that light has been built sufficiently, then a new tool is created or a new technique becomes available. And in many times those tools, those techniques build upon what we've done in the past. And in some cases, they may replace a technique from the past because now something new is available. And that is what we see here. The creating technique that we have been doing for the past eight, nine years, that creating technique is still fantastic and it is still the creating technique. But when you have the Song of the Spheres, you don't have to sit within the circle of wheels. You don't have to hold the pendant of eternal light in your left hand and the wand in your right hand or the biotranslator in your right hand or the bioamplifier or the biotrinities. When you use the song, you will not need any other tools to perform any of your techniques of creating. And that is made possible simply because of the several years that each of you have been practicing the art of creating. As you have practiced your creating technique, you have built the light on earth. You have built it to the point where we were able to make it through the great transformation in 2012. You continued to do it. You continued to spread the light. You used the chamber of eternal light. We continued to build the light until finally the eon of eternal light arrived. And that arrived last April. And with the light, the dawning light of the eon of eternal light, new things become possible. And right now, the new thing that is possible is the exciting ability to perform the creating technique anywhere, simply using the song, the spheres, or the medallion, if you have the wheels with you. Lantos continued, the eon of eternal light heralds the awakening of the enlivened dynamics of creation available in all locations through the Supreme Song and the Supreme Medallion. In these tools, we ignite the energies required for the process of creating. This is the way. The way opens the initiate to the process of creating in all locations at all times. With this, the individual accelerates rapidly through the stages of growth and expansion and the physical structure transforms to support the radiance the supreme radiance as the reflection of the source. Cindy then asked Lantos, when we do the creating with the song, do we still go through the normal steps of creating? And she went through step by step our creating process. So remember, we would normally purify the desire. That's our first step. Once the purified desire comes back to us, we move on to the second step, visualization of the blue, pink, and yellow, the threefold aspect of the source of creation, until we feel a warmth within the heart. Then we turn our attention back onto the heart and the warmth within the heart, and then we move to the third step. We reintroduce within the warmth within the heart, the purified desire. We let the desire go, continue to focus on the warmth within the heart, the desire naturally comes back to us. And when it does, we reintroduce it a second time within the warmth within the heart. We let the desire go, continue to focus our desire on the heart. And then the desire will naturally come back to us a third time. And when it does, we reintroduce it within the warmth within the heart a third time. We do that at least three times. Those are the steps of the process of creating that we have been following for the better part of a decade now. So Cindy, went through these steps with Lantos. First step, purify the desire. Here's what Lantos said. Yes, the desire is purified. The flame of purity is present 
in the song and in the medallion. The great cosmic flame ignites as the initiate spins the way. The seed phrases hold the greatest purity, purity and direction. The seed phrases guide the individual on the way to universal awareness, fullness of knowledge. The I am seeds lead the initiate to the highest levels of fullness of life. All techniques of creating may be initiated with the supreme tool. All receive the great purification of the igniting of the flame of purity. All desires may be offered to the song and the medallion. Yes, all desires receive the purification. So that's an interesting answer. Lantos made clear that when we use the song and we spin the way, that ignites the flames of purification and that we can present any desire we want to the song or the medallion because simply by spinning the way, we ignite the flames of purification which will automatically purify the desire. And he did finish that paragraph, that answer, by saying, all desires receive the purification. And right before that, he said, all desires may be offered to the song and the medallion. So that means we don't actually have to go through that first step of creating purification of the desire because that step is included in the process of spinning the way. Now let's move on. Cindy went to the second step, visualizing the blue, pink, and yellow of the Wheel of Hope, the threefold aspect of the source of creation. And Lanto said, yes, these elements emerge with the initiation of the spin. Thrice spin. So a short answer, but once again, making it clear that this step, the second step of creating, is actually accomplished when we spin the way. When we spin the way, we accomplish this enlivenment of the threefold aspect of the source of creation. Let's move on. Cindy then asked, return our attention onto the warmth within the heart. And Lanta said, yes, we initiate the spin with the warmth within the heart. We spin the way with the warmth in the heart. I'm going to come back to this, but let's move on. Cindy, reintroduce the purified desire within the warmth within the heart, then spin the way. Lantos, yes, we seek the warmth within the heart before initiating the spin. With the spin, the desire is introduced and is automatically purified. All negativity is consumed by the great flame. We introduce the desire in the heart as we spin, then all is let go. We settle into that supreme space, the location of creating. Cindy, continue to place our attention on the warmth within the heart until the desire comes back to us. Lantos, yes, when the desire comes again, we spin again and let go into the warmth of creating. Then Cindy said, then reintroduce the desire within the warmth within the heart and spin the way again. And Lantos said, yes, this is the process. Three times we initiate this process. This is the process of creating with the supreme tool. So we'll double check everything for you and ask again. But given the answers that Lantos presented, it would appear that that first step, purification of the desire, is accomplished simply by spinning the way. The second step, enlivening the connection with the source of creation by visualizing the blue, pink, and yellow of the wheel of hope also is accomplished just by spinning the way. The part, the step where Lanto said that we do have to do that is focus on the warmth within the heart. Now, if you need to visualize the blue, pink, and yellow in order to establish that warmth within the heart, do so. If simply focusing on the heart 
generates the warmth within the heart, then that will suffice. But once you have that warmth within the heart, you spin the way. When you spin the way, you introduce the desire, which is either going to be one of the seed phrases or another desire for creating. You spin the way and release your hand. You introduce the desire and you release the desire. Then you will continue to focus on the warmth within the heart. This is what Lantos referred to as the supreme space, the location of creating. We continue to focus on the warmth within the heart and either the seed phrase or the desire will come back to us naturally and when it does, we spin the way again and we reintroduce that desire. And then we let it go, continue to focus on the warmth within the heart. When the desire comes back again, for the third time, we introduce that desire within the warmth within the heart. We spin the way at the same time. So this is our process of creating using the song and using the medallion. Lantos continued. He said, well, Cindy asked, then we can continue if we like to practice the creating with the same seed or phrase for several minutes after spinning the song three times because it doesn't actually take that long to do the creating with the song. This is going to make it much quicker for you. But what happens if you just like sitting there doing the creating technique with that seed phrase or with a specific desire? And Lanto said, yes, we begin with thrice spinning of the way. Following this process, we may sit and perform the inner practice of creating for some few minutes. So he said that you would sit and continue the process of creating if you wanted. And it didn't have to be a long time. He said some few minutes. But he specifically said we may sit and perform the inner practice of creating, which made Cindy ask. She was thinking, does that mean you don't have to be sitting when you're using the song or the medallion? So she asked this, can we be standing while we perform the spinning of the song or the medallion? And Lanto said, yes, this may be done. Yes, sitting, standing. The supreme tool ignites the process of the dynamics of creation. Yes. So if you're on a long elevator ride up to your office and work and you're alone there in the elevator, you can go ahead and do creating with the song or the medallion. You don't have to be sitting anymore. You can do this standing up. Then Cindy asked, can our eyes be open or should they be closed? And Lanta said, when the eyes are closed, the inner vision opens more clearly. Yet, this may also be achieved with the eyes opened. Many blessings. So lots of new information on our creating process, our creating technique. Many new things becoming available because of the song because of the medallion. We will likely have more information for you next Sunday, more answers, more questions and answers for you next Sunday, which will then be just a day or two or a few days away from when you receive your song and medallion. Like I said, this is an exciting period for all of us, and I can't wait to be going through this with you. Everyone, have a great week.